It's Ashworth. I was worried sick about you. Are you all right? How did you get back? I walked. You saw something terrible in that fog, didn't you? I saw a monster. Oh, stop it, you two. Stop making me feel all warm and fuzzy inside and giving me chills simultaneously. Stop it. Yeah, Susan, you need a bath. I'm gonna turn these off. Ah, uh, nothing like showering in the dark. No, but seriously. Give me a second. I'm going to start a fresh video. Okay, Susan would much prefer a bath. All right. Ready for more censorship? Because I know I'm going to have to blur a little bit here. Yeah, you do deserve that bath, Susan. You didn't work. I hope you feel good, Susan, although... Miss Ashworth, I need to ask you something. Can I come in? I'm in the bath. Is it something important? Yes, very important. The fate of the world depends on it. The blatant sarcasm there is perfect. But seriously, Susan, your bathtub is awful rusty. You know what? You can come in if you promise you're not a lesbian. A lesbian? I told you I had a boyfriend, Miss A. Both girls shouldn't get embarrassed of each other. Where do you get ideas like that? I don't know. It seems everyone is gay these days. Now... That's okay with me, don't get me wrong. But I don't necessarily want a lesbian to stare at my boobs, if you know what I mean. Miss A, if I want to stare at some boobs, I'll take my top off and look in the mirror. Right. Come in then. I love Mitzi. I love Mitzi so much. I'm cooking up some pancakes. What do you like on yours? We've got strawberry jam, maple syrup, and chocolate spread. The correct answer is one of each. Yes. Oh. Nice. I like pancakes. I'll have one of each. Oh no, you'll have two of each. I made so many that'd be enough for an army. I don't really eat much. That's because you haven't tried my pancakes yet. And if you don't leave me alone now, I never will. Really? Why? I can smell something funny. I think your pancakes are burning. Did you pull a Deadpool, so Mitzi? Where did you learn to cook like that? My dad taught me. He was the king of pancakes. She pulled a Deadpool. I'll wash up, if you like. I can do that. I like washing up. You do? Really? Really. I'm a good girl. And this is my treat for you, after all. Looks like we've got the rain back. I always felt like something was missing. Do you think it will ever stop? I mean, what if it doesn't? Then it will rain for a million years. I'm not sure I get it. What's the point of that? What did you say it was called again? For the third time. Social network. Why is it so difficult to remember? I just find the whole idea really stupid. Why would I want to tell people that I'm having a shit day? So maybe you'd feel better for sharing it with your friends. But I don't have any friends. No, you wouldn't with this attitude. You, on the other hand, seem to have 274 of them. How is that even possible? Well, what can I say? I'm very likable. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, they come every time you play the piano? Yeah, I don't really play that often. Mostly when I feel really sad. Maybe I actually play more often than I thought. You sad -o. I know a song written just for you. Remind me to play it to you sometimes. It'll cheer you up. It's called, All Flowers in Time Bend Towards the Sun. Flowers, yeah. Of course they do. Do you know it? It's written by Jeff Buckley. 
He would have been bigger than Cobain, you know. I never heard of him. No, he probably didn't. He drowned in Mississippi when he was only young. Such sad. Susan, what are you wearing? I don't mean that to be judgmental, I'm genuinely curious. Wait, how did you just... Or was that Mitzi? What? I've created a profile for you. Maybe now you'll learn how to use it. What am I going to do with it? Just look for people you know. Invite them, talk to them. It's a good way to keep in touch. Maybe you could refresh some old friendships? I don't know. I can't think of any names. I probably never really cared enough about anybody. How about people you went to school with? Your old colleagues from work? Nope. Friends. Zero. At least they're right about one thing. I'll add you later. That'll be a start. God damn it, Susan. I made us some coffee. Sit down and talk to me for a moment. I'm having a bad day. Do with some company. I do sure. like coffee sounds great. I do like the red oni blue oni comparison we have between Susan and Mitzi. Just with their mugs. It's a bit of a stretch, but sure, what the hell, let's have a seat. I like that sunset outside. What's wrong, Mitzi? Well, I'm not sure how to get started with this thing. I've been thinking about it the last few days, and I just don't seem to get any good ideas. Maybe I've been a fool all along. Eluding myself that I could find where that sick bastard is hiding. Maybe I can help you. I have lots of free time, you know? Last night, I made this, well, map. I made a map. This is our building, all four floors. There are two flats on each floor. You really want to help me? That's so great, Miss A. How will I ever pay you back for this? I'll think about it later. But we haven't found him yet, have we? No. But I feel that together we stand a chance. So, let's talk about it. What do we know already? Well, we've got... Wait, I thought Brian lived in flat five. Whatever. I know that rude, bald guy lives in flat six. I told you about him, didn't I? I think so. It's that guy who came complaining about the noise, right? Right. That's Brian Palmer. Let's mark him on the map. What else do you know about him? Not much. Wait, I remember some woman lived there with him. I've not seen her for ages. They must have split up. Could he be our potential suspect? Never eliminate a suspect. Yeah, I suppose so. I think so. Okay, let's take a closer look at him then. And then we also have an empty flat. I'm pretty sure one of the flats is empty. Hmm. Which one? I think it's the one on the first floor. Then we've got next door. It's an old married couple that lives next door. Yeah? What do you know about them? Well, the man is called Joe Davis. He seems nice, quiet type, but I heard him shouting a couple of times, and he sounded almost like a different person. Like a madman, you know? I gather they must have some serious relationship problems, and they're trying to sort them out behind closed doors. It's impossible to hide this personal dirt from your neighbors. I know it's none of my business, but I can't just plug my ears and pretend I don't hear what's going on there. And why? Ivy Davis. Or is it Sophie? I can't remember now. It's anyway, Ivy. She's very polite. Always says hello when we pass by each other in the hall. She's one of those size double zero ladies. So skinny you could easily take her for a coat rack. A walking skeleton. I bet she only eats a leaf of lettuce a day. Or nothing at all. 
She looks quite ill, actually. Anything else? They used to have a cat, Lucifer. I often wonder what happened to the poor little chap. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I was going to say something, but I don't remember what it was. Oh yeah, that's right. Man, Susan's getting a little catty. We can cross off our flat, of course. Yep, good. That leaves us with only seven flats. Also, there's an old man in flat five, right opposite the Brian's place. The Brian's place. And I love how Mitzi does her eyes so she can do a little smiley face like that. That's cute. There are strange noises coming from flat seven. Interesting. What kind of noises? Like screaming, explosions, guns. Then there are threats and insults shouted very loudly at someone. Hmm. I think I might know what's going on there. But it's worth checking anyway. You know the person who lives in that flat? No, I don't. It's the top floor. I have no business going up there. All I know is what I overheard from neighbor's gossips. Shame. Sometimes I hear a dog barking on floor one. First floor? Well, you said one of the flats was empty. Yes, which means the owner of the other flat keeps a dog. I hear it. Huh. Tell me about it. Noisy, smelly creatures. Can you imagine the eye of Adam being a dog lover? Can't see why not. In that case, it might be worth looking into. And we have our final flat. I'm curious, what is the 48 plus 197 supposed to mean? Maybe we'll never know. There's a woman with a baby living upstairs. No husband? I'm not sure. I hardly ever see her. And when I do, it's usually in the hall. When she's pushing a crown with a baby inside, she always has tons of shopping hanging from it. I nearly asked her once if she needed help to carry it upstairs. And? I hesitated for a moment, and by the time I offered, she grabbed the baby and the shopping bags and marched off upstairs. That's pretty much everybody, isn't it? There's not like a landlord's office in this flat, is there? I don't think there would be. Okay. I think that's all that we know at the moment. You mentioned a pram. Uh oh. This reminds me, I found an old baby pram in my bedroom among all the stuff. Do you have kids, Miss Ashworth? You never talk about it. Mitzi, this is not a good subject to bring up. The music stopped, and any time that happens, things have gotten super tense. Don't you remember Banjo-Tooie? Doesn't seem like there's anybody here. Oh, yes there is. The music's changed. Whenever that happens, we end up fighting someone. I don't want to talk about it. Come on, Miss A, it's alright. You can talk to me about it. I can tell there's some dark secret you've been keeping to yourself for a long time. You might feel so much better if you share it with someone. Uh, let's try and defuse this. Let's just drink our coffee, yeah? I just really want us to be friends. I swear to God I could do with one. I'm not very good at friendships. I thought that was rather obvious. Friends should trust each other, you know. I told you about Jack and everything else. Why can't you just do the same? You told me about Jack because you wanted to. I didn't force you, did I? My private stuff is nobody else's business. Why does everyone want to remind me of this all of a sudden? Isn't ten terrible years of suffering enough to let go and never bring it up again? Even... Even for me? Oh dear, that was tense and... Uh-oh. Don't tell me that was the mug. That was Susan's favorite mug. Oh no! Miss Ashworth, I, I'm so sorry. Your mug, it was an accident. You 
You know, just leave it. I don't even care anymore. Man, this one from a decent day to just downhill very quickly. Uh, are the lights on in here? Nah, we'll leave them off. Actually, no. You know what? We want full visual representation here. We're gonna open the door so that this asshole leaves. Who is it? Oh, hi. Hello? Who the hell are you? Oh! What's that in your other hand? A very clever, clever method of hiding Go a away. hammer. Leave me alone. That's not a ball peen hammer either. What kind of hammer is that? Thompson? No, it's not a Thompson. Uh, Editron, would you please uh, put that into? Ah! Damn. Poor Mitzi. She has to deal with that guy. Man, we aren't in good shape. And it's just zooming out from our eye. Probably. Uh. uh is this another one of. Oh no, there's a crow! What's up, my bud? I know you're not Susan's friend, but you're my friend. I like crows. Well, where are we now? What's over here? Did I go the wrong way? I'm not sure I'm supposed to go this way yet. No, no, we may as well start this way since we're here. Oh, this is like all of those... Oh, what is it? The mass graves where they ran out of space so they had to start cleaning and blessing the bodies or the remains while they were in... Uh, was it Poland? Oh, that door's locked. Okay. That's fine. But you know what I'm talking about, right? I'm sure you've seen a few of them. Hi. So many walls of skulls. Oh, wait. Wait, did I, did I box myself in? I think I... Oh, there's a rag. Let's, uh... Let's move that. A knife! Sweet! I'll take a knife. Is it blunt? Makes me think about Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. Yeah. I never watched Psycho. In fact, I only just recently saw The Shining. Shining was a good movie. I liked it. Let's pull this lever. What's gonna happen? Hello, Mace! I'll take you. Maybe we can get through here. Uh, what happens? Okay, that's fine. I'm not even going to try and ululate. Just do it to it, Susan. That's one wall down. And now for the other. I'm not close enough. That's fine. Now we got it. I was right there! Whatever. Now that we've done our thing, Oh, that reminds me. If, for some reason, you, well, if you manage to get Susan to have a breakdown in Chapter 2, she will smash the mirror so all you'll see is the space. Neat little details. Uh, we need to use the room key. There we go. Hello! It's, uh, interesting being back. Well, I said we'd go down the line, so let's just do it. Ouch. I wonder what he, what they hit to make them roll like that. Or did they swerve to avoid something? Is that what happened? Well, there's nothing there. So we're done in this area. We've done the sacrifice of soul. So now we need a sacrifice of 
blood. And I'm not sure if it's this room or if it's this one. Oh, that's right. I remember this room. We'll come back to that briefly. Well, we'll come back to it later. So you notice there was a padlock over there. We need to find a combination before we can do anything. Help! Help me! Oh. Is it just me, or... Are abandoned things really awesome for one reason or another? Like, imagine, if you will, being in this location, completely isolated by yourself. And there's the ship out in the distance, so you swim over to it. It's abandoned, yeah. But it's still there, and you have yourself a little hidey hole. I think that's pretty cool. I could just be weird, though. Like, I was reading an article about how mathematically, or how, according to some, we might be completely alone in the universe. And, again, that sense of isolation just thrilled me. Minimum capacity. Normally they're maximum capacities, aren't they? Can I just, uh... Can I just take this? No, I guess not. Okay. That's fine. But yeah, that idea of being completely hidden has always thrilled me for one reason or another. Not entirely sure I can explain why. Well, I'm sure I could, but I wouldn't have the right words to do it justice. So if you noticed, or if you were looking carefully, we have our combination. Uh, why don't we just open this? So, our first digit is 3, the second digit is 8, and then the last is 4. Huzzah! We're in! Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Okay. So, there's a certain way to do this, and there's machinery back here. Remember how we... Yeah, Susan basically just hinted. I'm gonna take that. Okay, I want to try and uh, count this out. Alright, I got it. So the trick here is to do this. What we do is we take the lever that we picked up here. We use it like so. Alright, good start. Then we operate. And Susan will move forward to avoid being crushed. Now if we take this lever back out, it'll lift the thing back up, and then Susan won't be able to... or Su that Susan will retreat back to where she came from. So in order to keep her moving, fortunately we have another lever. I'll take that. That is so creepy looking, but I love it. We're gonna use it. And now it's just a matter of alternating, so I'll take that out. And we'll put you in like so, and we'll use you, oops, and we have one more to take. So I'll take you out, that's good, and we will put you right in here, we'll take the lever. I always end up having the mace in the end for some reason. Oh no! Oh no, Susan! Why did I do that? Ugh, well, we may as well take you out. I'll be right back. There we go. Now we're in the right position. And, if you had operated the main panel before removing the lever, you would have heard machinery running, but you wouldn't know what it's for. <sighs> so, why don't we get started with it, eh? Hello? Well, on the plus side, the machinery is now running. Yay! 
Now, as the... Now, we could take the elevator, theoretically, but we're still missing one thing. Remember how the elevator said minimum passenger capacity 2? We need another partner. We need someone to ride with us. So who better than Susan from the hospital? Does that monster... It really does look a bit like Susan. So the way to do this is to figure out the right position and use the knife to stab the monster. I think we're right there. Nope, we need to be a little bit further back. From hell's heart I stab at thee. Ugh. Ugh. That was a rather nightmarish scream when you think about it. So I'm pretty sure we're good to go. And we can't go back into that room. Probably for the best, given that monster corpse in there. So we can keep walking. Susan will catch up. That's so weird, because Susan's right here with me. But I'm just like, oh, you know, Susan will catch up. How to talk about yourself in the third person. Jazzy is pleased with this development. But we've got everything we need. So all we have to do is wait for other Susan to get in the elevator. Come on, dear. It's not that far. Wait, does this mean that Gladys was a mental patient? Well, whatever the case is. The power's up. And let's do this. Goodbye, other world. I will miss you. That was a lovely pier. Why were we suddenly in the pier, though? So, other Susan, how you doing? Oh, hi there! I'm pretty sure this track is titled Good Lord Knows I'm Greedy by a warmer. Uh, wait, Susan, did you move forward? Oh! Oh, hi! Hi! I never realized just how much the music fits with this. Like, uh, before, I was just like, great, the elevator's crush being crushed because the pressure is getting to be too great. But now it's just like, holy shit, this fits so well! And we are back in the land of the living.